high fives from her teammates. And meanwhile, Kentucky having to pick up the slack, continue on, as we said, you just saw a few moments ago, Crystal Cook went down with an injury. But Michelle Gales is always the highlight, the exclamation point for Kentucky in this event. Another big tumbler and big score for Kentucky, but remember her teammate just went down. She's dealing with that, which adds pressure to her because really now they definitely need her score. And she's dealing with that emotional loss as well. Opening pass, a huge double layout, nicely done. And if anyone can handle the pressure, it's this senior co-captain. One thing we noticed earlier in the year, she's got that big smile on her face, something she said she's had to work on a little bit because she's usually so serious and intense. Working the performance element of this event. And again, blocking out what just happened to her teammate, Crystal Cook. That's what competition is about. Beautiful middle pass, front full to a front layout. The second front layout was higher than the first element, and that's the way the judges want to see it done. Michelle is an Atlanta girl. She's from Atlanta. Sure she's got some fans in the audience here. Michelle has really improved her form over the last couple years. Her tumbling has always been there. She has three solid landings in her tumbling passes. Her leaps and jumps were very clean. This is going to be a big score. One of the most difficult tumbling passes of the competition. We saw Michelle Emmons from Georgia perform it earlier. Later in the competition, we'll see Ashley Miles perform it as well. There are only a few athletes in this competition capable of that kind of power. Michelle certainly proving she's capable with a 9-9. I told you she had some fans in the audience. That was her mother cheering her on. But from a high note to a low note, Chris LaPook obviously disappointed. Natalie Taylor standing by with Coach Mo Mohammed for an update. Thanks, Jen. Coach Mo Mohammed here. Crystal Cook just got injured. Is she going to be able to perform the bars and the vault the rest of the meet? No, she's out for the meet. I think she either sprained her ankle or she did something. We heard it pop on the floor. So she's out, but we got to have some other kids step up. Well, an unfortunate turn of events for Kentucky, but there you see the scores after two rotations. Auburn, the only team to have completed two events so far. Welcome back to the SEC Gymnastics Championships from the arena at Gwinnett Center. In rotation number three, we're going to have the SEC's top four ranked teams going head to head. That would be Georgia on vault, LSU on bars, Florida on beam, and Alabama on floor. All of these teams will be competing in their second event of the night, but Lori, Alabama has struggled a little bit early on. They've had uncharacteristic mistakes by their top scorers on beam. Ashley Miles over rotating her dismount here. And right out of the gates, Shannon Rosick over rotates her first tumbling pass. Forces them to count a lower than normal 955 on this event floor. And now we're up to Taryn Humphrey, and this is only her third time competing this event. The pressure's on this Olympian. And you saw just a moment ago, Taryn with a little bit of a stumble on her dismount from beam. So we'll see maybe some of that Olympic character come through here of just having to put it behind you and move on to the next event. We've talked about the intensity and the energy that comes with this competition. And quite often an athlete can be overcome with that adrenaline. And maybe that's what we're seeing from Alabama. That's why we're seeing a lot of their landings over rotated. So important to compete exactly the way that you do it in the gym. Taryn's opening pass, a big one, a pike full in. Not a problem on her landing there. Showing off that Olympic experience. And we're gonna see some of that elite level difficulty here. Two and a half twist, punch front. Championship teams will find a way to step up even when things haven't gone their way. Alabama having to count one of those out of bounds deductions. Their first two competitors, everyone else must step up here. off a little bit more of that classical dance. You can see the interesting shoes that she has on her feet. They're more like rhythmic gymnastic shoes and it helps her when she does a lot of her turning elements. A 
Only third time competing this routine. Big difficulty at the end, huge, a one and a half twist to a two and a half. An excellent comeback just when Alabama needs it. Wow, Taryn Humphrey stepping up, as you said, just the third time all season. She has competed on the floor, but she knew her team needed a big score, and she went out there to try to get it. I've talked about those big double layout skills. This is the same level of difficulty, the piked full in. A full twist in the first rotation, two saltos in the piked rotation. A great routine and a big score. Big, big for sure. Nine, nine ties, a season high for Taryn Humphrey. So the Crimson Tide battling, trying to stay in this competition while LSU and April Burkholder are competing on bars. Huge release element there out of a combination. Pack Salto down to the low bar. Very tight and aggressive through her handstand positions. April is a favorite for the all-around competition as well as a contender again this year for SEC Gymnast of the Year. Excellent landing. And an excellent score for April Burkholder. A 9-9, make that two 9-9s for April tonight already. Impressive start to her all-around bid in this meet. Kelsey Erickson, another one of those all-arounders. Sophomore Jim Dog will be competing on vault. Last year's SEC Freshman of the Year, she said she felt some pressure at the beginning of the year, but now things are really starting to fall into place. Very nice, high Yurchenko layout full. This vault is scored out of a 10, and again, we're looking for those beautiful body positions in the air, nice amplitude and height, and a stuck landing. Kelsey does take a hop on the landing, one tenth deduction. Kelsey Erickson with the 985 for Georgia in this third rotation. This is the second event that Jim Dogs are competing on. And the Florida Gators competing in their second event as well. They are on the balance beam here in rotation number three. And we get another look at Brianne King. This Florida team has dubbed her as Queen of the Beam. Beautiful and very fluid on this event, starting off with a front aerial, smoothly tumbling backwards into a back handspring. Floor exercise score for Alexis Brion, 9.875. Next to the floor is Ashley Miles. Switch leap, straddle, straddle. Nice rhythm between those jumps. I just want to see that connection to give them their fo full bonus. Collegiate gymnastics, you have to get five tenths of bonus through combination and difficult elements. No wobbles, no form breaks. Comes down to the dismount here. A double twist, a slight cross of the legs, a little bit movement of the feet on the landing. It's pretty much the only deductions throughout this routine. Very clean form, beautiful straight legs and pointed toes. And there you see Brienne's score. Just as a reminder, coming into this rotation, comparing one event, Georgia in the lead, followed by LSU, Florida, and Alabama. While Alabama's Ashley Miles is a defending NCAA champion on the floor, she's next. 